All right, guys. We are going to run through this video. And here I'm going to show y'all how to turn bubble letters into one point perspective letters. But a prerequisite to this video is you need to know how to do bubble letters, all right? So we are just going to go for it. I'm using the technical pen under inking. And I have it at 70% because I want my outline a bit thick. Add some flavor to that, Jay. Okay, I don't like that. Let's move here. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Your letters don't have to be perfect. Let's get that there. Let's get the L in there. And that is my J-E-L, John Eli Lopez. Remember, smash that like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, any feedback is appreciated. And I have my other layer here under here for my uh, vanishing point and horizon line. And my, van my horizon line will be up top and depending on where you put your horizon line is where your, um, how your letters will be viewed. So my letters will be viewed from the top down. And the reason I did a square there is just so I could, uh, then I'm just gonna erase that. It's just so I have a perfect line right there. So now put my vanishing point right there in the middle and now and remember, the reason why I made these lines lighter is because if you're doing this in pencil, you do not want to go dark. You want to go light enough so you can erase these lines. These are just your guidelines here. Get that right on the edge. Get that there. All the lines will be going to your vanishing point right here. Made that one. That could be a little better. Let's get that here. Yeah. All right. Remember, you must get all your lines connect to that vanishing point because you will be able to tell if any line is off. So once you have that done, this one on, let me do this one better here. Let's get that out, take it from here. And it's gonna be erased anyway, so that's all good. So once you have those lines there, now, if you're doing it on paper, now you could just come, use those lines as a guide, and depending on how thick you want your letters, is how far back you're gonna go on those lines. I don't want my letters that thick, so I'm just going right here. Right here. Right there. And you wanna follow the shape of your letters. That is one of the key things. Whatever style you did your letters in, like this line follows that line, and so forth, right? Because that is gonna give it the look. There we go, and eventually all of this guidelines will be erased, and we're just gonna turn that layer off, and now we got it. Now, I'm gonna add some color to my letters. I already have my palette done here so we're just gonna go for it I'm just I'm just kind of freestyling with these uh, colors here Let's see how it looks and a good way to do it is have the lighter colors in front so your letters stand out that one. I'm gonna make all my letters a different color let's just get this blue right here let's go here now let's go from this here I want a bright red 
Got my bad. Darker purple there. Yeah. And let's go here. All right. And up top is usually the lighter area, you know, but you know, depending on where you want your light source coming from. So my light source is coming from the top. That's how we are gonna do it. And think about the shadow sides. These are the dark sides here. That's just gonna add to the flavor. The E, of course, you're not seeing the um, the right side of that, so I'm not gonna put any shadow side. But the L, we're gonna put one here. And let me put that highlight on top here. And we are good to go. Now I'm just gonna add a little flavor on there. I'm gonna create another layer. And uh, let's do it like that. Let's take this, uh, just, I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this. Just add some different tones here. Oop. Oh, forgot I was not on that layer. Let's go back on the letter layer. Cause that, that's one thing that's cool about uh, Procreate is once you close off your shapes, you just drag that. It's one of my favorite thing and just drop the colors in there. So let's go to the E here. We're gonna do something similar to that E. Matter of fact, let me do it another way. Do it similar to what I did with the J. Let's bring it up here. Do it like that. Add some little flavor going on here. Let me see what happens. Of course, you don't have to do that. I'm just uh, gonna see what I'm gonna come up with here. All right, and now I'm gonna use this layer that I had there for just a little highlights, and then we should be good to go. All right, now we're just gonna come with the smudge too. Just kind of smudge this up a little bit. Let's... And the cool thing about bubble letters, if you're, um, as long as you're not doing, you know, trying to do perfectly straight letters, you can come with any kind of a style to it. Because once it's legible, people can read it, you're good to go. That's why it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as people can tell what letter you are doing, Try not to stress yourself too much. Let's add a little bit of white in there. Just want to add the illusion of that shape. 
We are good to go. Let's have Got a little bit of white up here. Some up in here. come back here with a thin outline and just tighten that up a little bit add a little uh, highlights I think we should be good to go all right guys this was just a Kind of quick tutorial here, just showing you all how you could uh, get some letters done on this Procreate. Just erasing up some of the highlight areas here. Oh, I want to erase it. All right, guys, tighten up some of that right there. I think uh, missed the spot. Put the shading in. Get some of that red down in here. Want it right on the highlight. And I could still come here with a different tone of that uh, red up in there. Get that going up in there. As a matter of fact, I don't like that. Let me put some white there. Guys, my JEL is done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, hit that like, leave a comment. Any feedback is appreciated. One point perspective, turning bubble letters. Of course, you don't try to bubble letters first before you even attempt the one point perspective. All right, guys, till next time. Y'all be good and be safe. Peace.